Now page four, the Democrat two-year game plan. Phase one of degrade in order to destroy the Donald Trump presidency is complete. The phony Russian narrative has been repeated by the mainstream media's echo chamber for nearly two years now. The special counsel is in place, and the radical base of the Democrat Party is all ginned up and ready to unload this fall with millions and millions of partisan-based votes. So phase two is coming now. Phase two begins in January 2019. Democrat control of the House of Representatives. If that is achieved, then the phase two two-year Democrat game plan begins to unfold. There will be hearing after hearing after hearing on everything this president has or has not done. There will be investigation upon investigation. Baseless charges will fly up and down the halls of Congress. The Republican leadership will go silent, as it always does, and impeachment will commence. That is the plan, and it will be orchestrated by none other than Nancy Pelosi. After all, this is Pelosi's last stand. If she does not deliver a Democrat majority in the House, then she's done. If Pelosi does deliver, look out. All political hell will break loose. Well, I think that uh, if, if there is a path to impeachment, we will see what that is. Right now... What does that mean? Well, it means Stop that, that Mulder... We know... <laughs> What does that mean? What does that mean? We know exactly what it means. It means simply if the Democrats gain a majority in the House of Representatives, they're going to impeach the President of the United States. There isn't any evidence for impeachment, but that's exactly what they're going to do. And remember Nancy Pelosi's history. She's been through how many administrations? Four administrations? Uh, and that includes Bill Clinton. So she sat through the impeachment hearings of Bill Clinton. I guarantee you that's percolating somewhere in the back of that vast gray matter of Nancy Pelosi's brain. That's what she's thinking. She's thinking of atonement here. She's thinking she can do the same thing that the Republicans did to Bill Clinton. She can do that to Donald Trump. Again, the firewall is in the United States Senate, and I think it is a solid firewall one way or another, and largely because this president hasn't done anything. But that is the game plan. And remember, it's all based on this phony narrative. This is quite possibly the greatest PR accomplishment in the history of this republic. Certainly the history, the political history of this republic. And that is this PR stunt of somehow turning a candidate that would be Hillary Clinton, who is guilty of colluding with a foreign entity, onto the opposition candidate who's not guilty of colluding with a foreign entity, the mainstream media jumping all over it. And then you have Jeff Sessions falling for this trap. Many people falling for the trap, unfortunately. Too many Republicans, mainstream media all over it in their echo chamber. But Jeff Sessions may have turned the course of political history in this country more than even Aaron Burr in what he did by recusing himself and opening up the door for Robert Mueller and his unprecedented systemic attack on a sitting president of the United States. And he has a long leash. He has no leash. He's running roughshod over our legal system. Rod Rosenstein has given him full reign to pursue wherever he wants to pursue. Where does this thing end? Where is the bottom of the Mueller investigation. Nancy Pelosi doesn't care. She wants it to continue on into what she hopes is going to be the majority in 2019. Roll tape. Our investigation will continue. It will come to some conclusion. Stop the tape. The Robert Mueller investigation is unconstitutional. It was probably unconstitutional in its founding. Um, and it is certainly unconstitutional if Robert Mueller believes that he's going to indict a sitting president. What else is Robert Mueller doing? Here he's going after Manafort. He's going after all these people in Donald Trump's orbit for crimes that were committed um, before Donald Trump was president of the United States. So he's building this case of crimes possibly committed by Donald Trump before he was president. But he can't indict a sitting president. He also cannot impeach a president. He doesn't have the constitutional powers. So what is Robert Mueller doing? What case is he building? And who is he building it for? Don't we deserve the answer to that? Don't we deserve Rod Rosenstein coming out and saying, hey, Robert Mueller, it's time to give an accounting to the American people. Let us all know where you are at this moment in time. Two months 
before a midterm election. We deserve to know that. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.